The third one is my college experience, why I went to NOVA, and the last two to three years. So how many of you guys in here, guys and gals in here, are going or know about? Raise your hand. Okay. Uh, no, keep your hands up, keep your hands up. How many of you guys are pathway students? Raise your hand. Uh, pathway to the bachelorette, that's a, um, no, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, how many of you guys are going to a four-year university? Raise your hand. I'm going to ask this question daringly. How many of you guys are UVA bound? Raise your hand. Okay. One day you will, guys, you will be UVA bound. One who what? That's our mascot. Okay. Well, we actually have two mascots. So, like, when we're at the football game, is raising our uh, little uh, towels. We're do do doing wah hoo wah every time the. Uh, the like, like a terrible towel, like from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like Pretty much, but they're not um, really nice towels. <laughs> But they're, they're, good, um, they're good towels at the time. Okay. So, no matter if you're going to a four-year university or a two-year community college, what I'm going to tell you today is going to appeal to all of you guys. I'm going to tell you why I chose NOVA over GMU. I'm going to tell you, why pers you know, what your first semester is going to be like and the difference between a four-year university and uh, Northern Virginia Community College. I'm gonna tell you um, my college experience and three pieces of advice that I have for you. And finally, I'm gonna tell you how I figured out what I wanted to do and the secret to that and how you can figure out what you wanna do in your career as you go into college because I'm sure that's a very scary feeling. So, just like many of you in here, I was very scared. Not only was I kicked out of my house, but I also didn't know what college I wanted to go to. I got into, sometimes getting into multiple universities is not as much of a blessing as much of, as it is a curse. It's difficult. You know, a lot of people, you know, they make jokes today as they did three years ago that um, N stands for NOVA, NOVA stands, N stands for NOVA, and you know, NOVA is a dropout school and all of these things. And of course, I was one of those people that was not as enthusiastic about NOVA. I'm not gonna, not gonna BS you, it's, it's true. I was, you know, I was like, I don't really wanna go to NOVA. I chose NOVA probably like many of you guys in here, that it was a financial alternative for me, that it was cheaper, you know? I got financial aid, I was able to pay for NOVA. GMU didn't give me that, couldn't do that. For NOVA as well, um, I was just kicked out of my house six months earlier, and Maria Sear, the uh, career counselor at the time at South Lakes High School, she told me that, and she advised me not to go to no, not to go to GMU, because for me it would be hard to transition to another, uh, basically living situation that live on dorms on ground on the campus at GMU, and it'd be really difficult. And she said, Josh, you should go to Nova and transfer from Nova to a better university. And at that time, I wanted to go to Georgetown and Harvard. Um, as crazy as that sounds, I still had big dreams at that time. Looking back. Yeah, you know what? I did choose NOVA because it was a financial, it was, you know, it was cheap. And I chose NOVA because it helped me transition. But if I were to choose NOVA now, three years later, looking now, having the four-year experience, being at UVA for almost a year, I would have chosen NOVA because I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to go to a four-year university. I could barely take care of myself. I am proud to say that I can cook, do laundry. I'd make a good husband, actually. <laughs> but. At that time, though, I wasn't able to do that. Um, my life wasn't together, and I didn't really, I wasn't even sure what I wanted to do. I changed my major from being an attorney of what I wanted to do to being a business person. And I chose business, administ business administration as my major. And oh my God, there's so many ways you can go from business administration to what you want to graduate and do your job in. I wasn't ready. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I wasn't ready to live on my own. NOVA gave me that time to not only figure out myself, but also the opportunity to basically figure out what I wanted to do as a career. And as a third year UVA student, even with that partial gap year, I can say that I'm pretty prepared of, I know what I want to do as my career. I, want to, I do know what I want to do after college. So I'm taking my course and my credits, knowing that that's going to lead me up to my career. No one gave me that time. 
really the only difference between Nova and UVA is simply Nova and UVA, there's more parting at UVA, and Nova and UVA, there's a different way of teaching stuff. At UVA, um, they give you a lot of books and a lot of reading and they expect you to read it and then report on the next class. At NOVA, it's a little bit more discussion-based. Instead of 200 students in a class, there's 30 to 40 students. And you're able to learn the material easier, and you're able to get in contact with your teachers easier. And that's the huge difference between NOVA and a four-year university. And if you don't know what you want to do, and you're unsure, you have time at NOVA to make some mistakes and still be fine. And it won't cost you a lot in your life. It won't cost you a lot of time. And I believe that time is opportunity. So my first semester. I'm also here to tell you that your first semester is going to be the most difficult semester that you ever go through. Why? Because you know how your high school teachers tell you that college is so different than high school? I'm here to tell you that they were underestimating that completely. It's like college is like taking a kindergartner and putting them in their senior year of high school. Just imagine you being in kindergarten and being in your senior year and not knowing what a senior prom is or what the uh, senior, um, senior night is, or graduating, let alone that. It's so different. It's amazing, but it's different. My first semester was hard because personally I have ADHD. So I sometimes run on tangents, so feel free to like, beat me up if I do that in the speech. And I, get I, I don't get distracted by sparkly things, but if I do, let me know. I get distracted really easily. It's, it's hard for me to focus in class, even today at UVA, not, allowed, not, not even like at GMU, sorry, at NOVA or at South Lakes High School. It's hard for me to focus on a teacher. I have to take a, a kind of a mental break for 10 minutes and what I do is I write like business proposals in my notebook and then pay attention to the teacher afterwards. It's just hard. I also never studied in high school because I, got a three, I had a 3.91 grade point average. I only studied for three exams. At NOVA, Everything changed. I had to study for every class because I never had taken economics before. Calculus I never had taken. And to be honest with you, those books are boring compared to like your high school textbooks. I remember sitting in a library my first week, taking, um, reading three to four pages of the book and just conking out for like two to three hours. And I called the bus home. I realized that I had to figure out how to study. And what I did was very simple. I realized that I had to read the book I then had to take notes on the book, write it out, type it out, grab a random friend and say, I'm gonna take you out and eat and I'm gonna lecture you on the material because they weren't gonna do it for free and I was gonna speak to them for about two hours on philosophy, for example. And that's kind of boring to hear for two hours. And that's how I would learn how to take an exam. That was my first difficulty. My second thing is that I had a hard time managing my time. I worked three jobs, 45 hours a week, Giant Food, Herndon Law Firm, and I worked at the uh, local fitness center. And I was taking 13 credits of class as a full-time schedule. Plus, because of you know my bus issues, I was trying to learn how to ride a motor scooter, and then, honestly, I was on the bus for, on transportation three hours of my day, going back and forth to school and work. I didn't know how to manage my time. I was on four cups of coffee by November. I was getting two to three hours of sleep, and I got swine flu and flu during that same um, November month. Just got worse from there. What saved me was communication, where I actually asked my SDV counselor, which SDV stands for College Success, and I said, can you go over what you did in, that, in the class about time management? And she was like, okay, cool. So she shows me how to create a time management chart, and it saved my life. Everything else was easier because I had like a complex Excel sheet of I need to go here on this day and here on that day. And I still use a variation of that today through iPod notes and through Excel. And I'm here to tell you, if I can give you one piece of advice when you go to either GMU or you go to NOVA, speak up, ask questions, talk to people. Speak up by talking to your faculty members because I don't care whether you go to NOVA or whether you go to UVA, whether you go to GMU, James Madison, these teachers have their master's degrees and they know a lot of stuff and are well connected. Like my economics teacher worked at the World Bank. Um, actually, my finance teacher also worked at the World Bank um, at UVA. Same criteria. 
ask them questions because who knows, you may be able to network yourself in and get a job a little bit later. The second piece of advice, talk to your orientation assistants when you go to orientation. And go to orientation too, don't skip it. Because it's going to make your life a lot easier and you're going to meet people um, at the um, orientations. And the third thing is talk to people, not only during the orientations, like the, your fellow students in the orientations, but also during your first week of school. I know this personally, being a new student at a community college and also being a new student at University of Virginia. The hardest thing is to go into a school and not know anyone, not know many people. You get lonely, you get sad, and you're like, wow, I wish I knew more people. I can tell you that in your orientations, you think you're scared about you know, meeting people and talking up, talking. Everyone else in that orientation room is also just as scared. And I'm speaking from experience, I can tell you that the person who is acting up during orientation is more scared than everyone else in that orientation because they're trying to show they're a tough guy, they're trying to mask their insecurity of being scared. Just talk to people. No one's gonna bite you, no one's gonna kill you. You'll be fine. Your first semester will be the hardest and everything will get easier.